What's up guys, my name is Irina and welcome back to my channel where I review everything tech. I'm so happy that I finally got my hands on the Google Pixel 4 XL's camera. I've been really excited to see how it performs in the real world and compare it against other flagship smartphones. So in today's video I'm gonna compare the cameras of the Pixel 4 XL, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. And in this video, as always, we'll take a look at some daylight photos, night shots, selfies, photos taken in challenging light conditions and much, much more. And of course, I'll test the side-by-side -side video quality and stabilization. Let's quickly take a look at the tech specs of the cameras on these three phones. We have 12 megapixel main cameras on all of these devices. And when it comes to the telephoto cameras, we got 16 megapixels on the Pixel 4 XL and 12 megapixels on the iPhone 11 Pro Max as well as on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Also, the 11 Pro Max and the Note 10 have the ultra-wide cameras, while the Pixel 4 XL doesn't have one. And when it comes to the apertures of these cameras, the Note 10 has the advantage of having a dual aperture of 1.5 and 2.4 on the main camera, while we have the aperture of 1.8 on the main camera of the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the aperture of 1.7 on the main camera of the Pixel 4 XL. And speaking of the telephoto cameras, we have the largest aperture on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, however, we'll see how this translates in the real-world comparison. And let's start with some portrait shots. When it comes to separation from the background, all of these three phones did a pretty good job here. I don't see any obvious flaws. And speaking of exposure, the Note 10 produced the brightest photo in this particular example. And from my experience, it does so in most situations, when compared to all the other flagships I've compared it against so far. The Pixel 4 XL produced the least bright photo between these three. However, if you look at the background, you can see there is properly exposed. There are no overexposed areas like we have in the photo from the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Note 10. And while the photo from the Pixel can be easily edited by editing a little bit of brightness, it's gonna be nearly impossible to get any detail from that overblown background in the portrait from the Note 10. Let's look at another example, and once again I can say that the separation from the background is pretty good in these three portraits. You can see some differences in exposure and colors here, and of course it comes to your preferences guys, which photo you like best. Now let's look at these blacklit photos taken in the portrait mode. Obviously, blacklit photos are always challenging. I was standing in the shadows as the sun was shining at the back of my head. Unfortunately, the Note 10 completely blew out the sky and the river in the background despite many attempts. The iPhone and the Pixel produced pretty good shots with beautiful backgrounds. However, I would say the portrait from the iPhone looks slightly hazy and soft, while the photo from the Pixel looks slightly darker but sharper than the other two. And the thing I found interesting about these three cameras is that they have different techniques when it comes to dealing with hair. For example, the iPhone 11 Pro Max always blurs out the hair that sticks out, overall making my hair look neat, while the Pixel 4 XL leaves it as is, sometimes making my hair look a little rough. Just like in this photo where it looks like I have a big spider on my head. And by the way, zooming into the photo from the Note 10, I think it could actually be a very good portrait. But didn't happen here. Next, let's look at some random daylight photos and you can judge them for yourself. Looking at the daylight photos from these three phones, it's very hard to identify a clear pattern when it comes to how these phones process their photos. Sometimes the Note 10 could give us the coldest looking photo and then it would suddenly give us the warmest one. Sometimes the iPhone produces the most vibrant shot and then it would be the Pixel. So you get the idea, right? 
And here are also some photos taken indoors with artificial lights. Now let's talk about the front-facing cameras. We have 12 megapixels on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 8 megapixels on the Pixel 4 XL, and 10 megapixels on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. And when it comes to the apertures, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 have equal apertures of 2.2, and the Pixel 4 XL has the aperture of 2.0. And let's look at some selfies. The face retouching was off on all of these devices, except for the iPhone, where it's always set to default and you cannot change it. I would say the skin texture looks the softest in the photos from the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. By the way, all of these phones can take wide-angle selfies. The only difference is that you have to make a switch to the wide-angle mode on the 11 Pro Max and the Note 10, whereas you don't have to do anything on the Pixel 4 XL, since its front-facing camera is always set to the wide-angle. Also, here are some portrait selfies. And now let's look at some times to zoom photos. I've been particularly curious to test it out since the Pixel 4 XL got a dedicated telephoto camera. Let's zoom into the photos. And I would say we have three pretty sharp photos. It's really hard to say which one is the best here. A few more times to zoom photos for you guys. However, despite having a dedicated telephoto camera, the Pixel 4 XL does not have an ultra-wide camera, which the 11 Pro Max and the Note 10 have. And even though I already compared these two ultra-wide cameras in my previous camera comparisons, I can't help but show you some examples anyway, because this is always so much fun. Next, let's look at some photos taken in the dusk. In this particular example, the Note 10 produced the sharpest photo between the three. And a few more photos taken in low light for you guys. And finally, it got really dark, so it's time for the night shots. So here all the photos were taken in the night mode. Generally speaking, all of these three cameras produce beautiful night shots. However, these photos have some differences in exposure, colors and sharpness. And guys, I'll let you judge these photos for yourself. A few more night shots for you guys. And now let's look at some night times to zoom photos. Now it's time to switch gears and look at some videos. All these three phones shoot 4K videos. However, when it comes to the frame rate, the iPhone 11 Pro Max shoots videos at 24, 
30 and 60 frames per second. The Note 10 shoots videos at 30 and 60 frames per second, and the Pixel 4XL only shoots videos at 30 frames per second. And since all of these phones shoot at 30 frames per second, that's what I will compare on this test. And first, let's see how good the stabilization is on these cameras. And taking into account that I was walking pretty fast and all of these videos were shot handheld, I can say that the stabilization is really good on these devices. I think the video from the Pixel 4XL seems the smoothest here. What do you think, guys? A few more videos for you. And let's look at some night videos. So guys, it's time to wrap up this video. After comparing the Pixel 4 XL against my two other favorite smartphone cameras of 2019, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, I must say I'm very much impressed with the Pixel 4 XL's camera setup. As you saw for yourself, it was often on par or even outperformed the other two phones. Let me know guys which phone you like best in this comparison. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.